Good morning, guys. Welcome back to another vlog. Um, today, uh, I'm making my own algorithm. How content ranking works on social media platforms like Meta, YouTube, um, TikTok, is the company sets a goal like watch time or likes, and then they recommend content based on what's gonna get the user to do those things like watch the video or like the video. Um, but I think it should be, the user should have more control over the algorithm. So they should be able to set their goal like lose weight or meditate or like leak code. Then they should get content recommended that's actually gonna help them. So the algorithm's optimized for them. So I have an app that's doing that right now where you can put in goals like focus goals, long-term goals, and then you get content based on those goals. But right now it's literally me who's going to get in the content. And uh, because there's so few users right now, that was, I could do that. But now there's um, enough users that is getting too much work for me. So I need to automate that. Um, and so I'm gonna do that with Python and I'm gonna use cursor and I might use NADN or something like that. But I'm just gonna, I don't know how it's gonna go, but that's why this is a story and you're gonna figure it out with me. We don't know, but we're gonna do it. We're not gonna give up. Let's get it. Show you guys uh, how far I got. Okay, so I vibe coded this in cursor. This is how it works. This is my user. It goes and gets uh, my goals, both my long-term goals and my focus session goals. So it uses those goals as context for the prompt. Basically it says, given these user goals, generate three YouTube search queries to find the most relevant motivational content. These are the three search queries that it returned. So how to make 10K monthly revenue, entrepreneur motivation, whatever, app monetization strategies, and productivity and focus tips for content creators. So then it runs those three queries and gets back 10 videos per query. Those are some of the videos. The next prompt that runs is a filtering prompt. It says to Claude, hey, here's 30 videos. Filter, this, filter these down to only the relevant ones. So it gives it the list of the 30 videos and then it returned 17 videos. And then the last step is that it stores the video links in the database so that uh, you can see them. And so this is pretty much what it looks like. So here's my goals. And I also had, you know, some focus session history uh, down here. So these were included for context. And then these are the videos that it returned. Oh, it got more, yeah. Cause it runs every day uh, at midnight, but I just ran it. It actually doesn't run at midnight. It says that, but it runs when I get up in the morning, <laughs> but it, it, it will run at midnight. All I have to do is schedule it. And so now the next thing I need to do is make it so that this function runs automatically whenever someone puts in focus goals or goals. So I'm gonna get to that next, but I'm gonna take a break. Okay, I also really clearly want to say something from a business perspective. Okay, so Meta or YouTube could easily make an app like this and it could probably blow mine out of the water. <laughs> so why am I doing this? And what what's my plan for that? My moat for this whole concept and startup is who I am because they can never replicate who I am. And hopefully because I'm making these vlogs and sharing my story, a lot and a real authentic version of it where i don't really know if anything if any of this is going to work you guys are more motivated by that and the mission and how authentic it really is so that 
people will actually want to use this app and not a big company like Meta or Google's version of it. That's part of the story. It's like, I don't know if this is going to work, but I have to keep going and have to keep the story going because this is part of it. And, and that's why I want to. I just want this content to be there. And so whether it's low quality, high quality, whatever, it's something and I'm just going to keep doing it. Boom. Well, what doing things that don't scale means specifically is doing things in a sort of handmade, artisanal, painstaking way that you feel like, yeah, it would be great if you could do things that way forever. But you, you're in the back of your mind, you think to yourself, well, there's no way we could keep doing this and become giant, right? And what do things that don't scale means is do those things early on anyway. If you don't do them, you'll never be big. So you got nothing to lose. Um, and also you learn a lot from it. It's so important to get early customers that if you have to do a ton of manual stuff, that's okay. You'll learn a lot from it. Did you guys do manual stuff? Yes, oh yes, web totally. And, and we thought, oh, we're doing it wrong. This is so lame. And in fact, it was exactly the right thing. We made an online store builder. You could build a store on the internet and sell stuff. And we would go to would-be customers and say, would you like to use our easy online store builder? And they would say, no. And we would say, but you want an online store, right? And they would say, yeah. And we would say, what if we used our software for you to make an online store? And then you could have it. Would that be good? And they'd say, all right. Um, and so we're like, ah, we can't get anyone to use our software, but at least they're willing to let us use it for them. It seemed so lame. Having to use our software myself made it much better because I would be using our software to make someone's website, right? And I was also the guy who wrote the site builder. And so I would be using it and think to myself, ah, this is inconvenient. <laughs> I would change the software in the middle of using it and then go back to working on their website. And boy, that made the software much better that I had to use it. In the beginning, you only have 10 customers. You want to go 10% next week. 10% a week is an ambitious goal. Well, you only got to get one more customer. You can go out and do that very manually, right? And then next week, you have 11 customers. You have to get 1.1 customers, right? Which is basically one, right? You just keep going out there and doing things manually. And as long as your growth rate is good, it doesn't matter how small the number is because a constant growth rate means exponential growth. And that means the base number will soon take care of itself. <laughs>